Hi everybody, it's Diana. This is another one of the cards that I showed at Leadership and I've had quite a few questions about it. And I think it might have been the favorite one that um, I showed and it is totally funny. But um, So this card, it actually uses From the Herd with the fun little animals there. I got the You Make Me Smile. And that came from the stamp set, So You. And then, of course, I've been calling him Paul for Paul Bunyan, but um, this came from the Would You Be Mine is where you're going to get the little logger man. But um, I also used the wood grain embossing folder, and that goes, you can kind of see it here, and that's on the crumb. And then what I used was the On Film Framelits die, and that gave me the photo, um, the picture photo um, framelit. So anyways, so let me just show you how I put it together. I'm not going to stamp it or anything. I'm just going to show you um, so it's a little easier for you to um, see. So anyways, it was just, I just did the photo thing, but what it, they're just all tucked behind there. Um, after I colored them with the blendabilities, I just glued my frame on, and I just cut out the paper that stuck out from behind it. But I've had a few of you asking me about Paul and if he's masked on the card. And I do a lot of masking, but this was just easier to cut him out. So what I did was I just um, stamped him, colored with the blendabilities. I cut him out. I didn't care about his little scrawny legs because they weren't going to show much anyway, so I didn't like color further down. But one little trick that you want to do so it looks like he is masked, or in the photo, I was teasing and saying that you want him in the photo and not photoshopped, because he really is in the picture. I took my um, Smoky Slate Blendability, and then what I did was, when you cut out stuff, no matter how close you get, you're still going to sometimes get like a little white edge around um, the image, and then it's really noticeable, especially if you stick it on to here. So what I did was I just took my um, Smoky Slate Blendability, and I'm trying to get in the light so you can see it, and then I just drug it along the edge, and what that does is it knocks that white edge down so you don't see it. So then that way, and I just used the, the light one, and then you could do it with, um, if you're doing blue or something, you could do like, like a light blue, but you just want to cover up that white so that when you do lay him on the card, he you know he blends right into the card. But he is, he's stuck behind here, and he's really on the card. But anyway, so hopefully that helps you understand that one. And it was a lot of fun making, I'm sure you'll have fun making a lot of photobomb cards. We were calling him Paul the Photobomber. But anyways, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.